these are not just stories about gods and, and, and goddesses and princes and kings in faraway lands. These are stories that are applicable right to where we live and, and, and how, we, how we live our lives. So that, you know, uh, if you take an allegory of, of, uh, of, of Rama and Sita, that is about a, a, a beautiful couple who become married. But throughout the world, wherever we live, there are couples who are getting on with their married life, who are getting on with their, their domestic bliss or not and sometimes stories and dances can come from these forms as well. That's what it's about. Some of the um, notes that I've made here about Shiva is about them being the master of rhythms, the master of the elements of fire, of earth, of water and, and, and air. Is Shiva the master of the eternal cycle of life or, or, or Shiva is the eternal cycle? Shiva is the seasons themselves that come and go. Am I right in thinking that? Nod to me, Shanta. Tell me I'm right or <laughs> wrong. There, there, there is always room, even within traditional dance forms, for something more contemporary. And we've got something special, a little something extra for you tonight that shows um, a contemporary uh, outlook. It's showing how ancient dance can be up to date. Yes, that's what it is, isn't it? Well, I know I, I always say Ganesh, but I also hear Ganesha. What, what, what's the correct one? Is it Ganesha? Ganesha. Both are correct. Oh. Both are correct. And his brother, Muruga? Oh, Muruga. 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 So if I say Muruga, yeah. Muruga. And, and their mother, Parvati. Parvati. I'm trying to, it's, it's not easy for me to do these pronunciations, you know, I'm trying, I'm, I, I, but I want to get it right. That's my secret to this. If I, can, if I can make the pronunciation right, no more will I be laughed at for having a very strong Yorkshire accent. <laughs>